about the straight path of Allah. Inshallah, we will give the good news of what you will harvest when you hold tight on that road. That actually, it's, it's, it's one end here on earth and the other end in heaven, inshallah. So the Quran and the Sunnah gave the good news to those who hold, who hold tight on the straight path of Allah, the blessings and the abundance in this earth life and warn those who do not comply. Your faith, our Islam, and our guidance is not a matter of our, our interpretation and what we think is right or wrong as those who sin that try to do these things. It is guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Prophet, which is very clear. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah al jinn and listen carefully to what Allah said, if they had only remained on the right path, if they had only remained on the right path, we should certainly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we should certainly have bestowed on them rain in abundance. That we may test them thereby, and he who turned away from the remembrance of his Lord will thrust him into overgrowing torments. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the burden of the abundance of water as an example. He did not say income. He did not say we'll make your, your existence uh, 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 beautiful and easy. He said we'll bestow abundance of water. And he made this parallel because the goodness and the blessings that are company the rain is well known to everyone, to a simple mind. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that we may that may be distant thereby after that perfect in this verse, means that he will test his servants who thank him for his for his bounties, who will stay on the right path, who will return to the avenue of disbelief, disobedience, and misconduct. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is well aware and known of everything that we all do and say. This promise from Allah of the bounties of abundance to his servants on the straight path of, uh, of, on the straight path of faith in this life, including the blessing that does not cover and follow the straight, the, those who are in the straight path alone, but cover everyone who are around. As when the rain comes in abundance, the blessings 
immediately. Imagine what the consequences would be in your life. That actually is promised for those who stay on the straight path of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Yunus, Accepted is your prayer. So be on the straight path and follow not the path of those who have no knowledge. And those who have no knowledge actually have the microphone now on the net, on TV, every, every avenue to corrupt the, the, the obvious straight path to Allah. So be careful and actually use your common sense. Among the food of being on the straight path of Allah, the abundance of reward in the hereafter. Not just all the, what we talked about, of abundance of reward over here on earth, but also abundance and reward in the day after. Imam Ahmad Abu Dawood narrated for the Muhammad and the President of the Kulafi that the Prophet Muhammad peace be him said, and look at the, the justice in Islam. This is the Prophet who brought the guidance. Listen to what he's saying. He's saying, oh people, you will not be able to accommodate, or as he said, you will not be able to do everything that you were commanded. The one who brought the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, 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 in his wisdom, telling us, you will not be able to accommodate, you will never be able to actually accomplish everything that you were commanded. So do your best with the intention to achieve. You know the goal, you know the end result, you know what is mandated from you. Do your best with the intention and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows your intention to achieve and expect the rules. And expect the rules. This means see with your deed and worship to be on the straight path of Allah with good intention as much as you can and expect the abundance. The Quran illustrated the good news that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him delivered when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Fusilat verse 30, very beautiful verse, review it, Surah Fusilat verse 30, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, those who say, our Lord is Allah, those who say our Lord is Allah and further stand straight and sit fast on his path uttered the word of the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and put it into action by being on the straight path of Allah. It's not just a word to other, it's a word to other and a confirmation with deeds. That's what all our religion is all about. Confirmation with deeds, not just talk. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, those who say our Lord is Allah and further, stand straight and sit fast on his path. The angels descend on them, saying, Fear not, grieve not. Fear not, grieve not, but receive the glad tidings of the garden of bliss which you were promised. The angel will descend to the earth's sky, even those who are in the state best of Allah, the good news, when they, when they pass away in their grave. And when they are resurrected in the day of judgment. The minute this journey starts into the hereafter, if you believe in the hereafter from the time you actually take your last breath to the time you get into your grave, and the time you spend in your grave, and the time you are resurrected in the day of judgment, the angels will always be there for those who are on the street path of Allah. When this arrives, and this comes suddenly, I remind myself and I remind you, this always comes suddenly. When this comes, the angels give the good news of the passing of hardship and the goodness of what about to come. The hard moment of death change into a reminder a good news of the best of hardship of all this life and all this play on earth and the goodness of what the outcome. It was the great by Allah, the peace of him, that the Prophet Muhammad peace of him said, the angel say to the believer's spirit, come out of this spirit, this soul, from a blessed body he occupied. Come out to ease and listen and the Lord that, that is not angry with you. In the grave, when everybody leaves and you live alone in this small space, the angel 
Show us the way. 